In this video tech tip, I'll show you how to take a SOLIDWORKS file and save it into your 3D Experience platform. In this example, I have a file that I have created locally and I'm ready to upload it to the cloud. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my add-in is turned on for 3D Experience. So you can see here I have both boxes checked next to the 3D Experience add-in and that's going to give me this 3D Experience tab on the right. When I expand this tab, we're going to see a list of all of the items in this assembly. So the top level assembly, um, it'll include any sub assemblies and components needed to build this current assembly, and it'll report the status for every item. Now the status is the same for all of these files. It says the file has not yet been saved into 3D experience. So we are going to be saving all of these files up for the first time. Now at the top of the screen, we can see that my current session is linked to my collaborative space sewing machine project. I wanna make sure I save my file into the correct location. So the first step to saving is actually just to make sure you have the correct collaborative space selected. You hit the drop down next to my session and then come to the preferences icon. We can change our credentials to whichever collaborative space we want to save into. Right, we see we have the correct collaborative space listed at the top of our 3D experience pane. So now I'm going to right click on the top level assembly and save with options. In this window, we can see that we are going to save all of our components and that all of them are new. Right, we can additionally add a bookmark to our content. In this case, I want to uh, apply the bookmark that I created for this project ahead of time. So inside of my bookmarks, I'll go to Sarah's projects and I have my Homatro demo. I'm going to apply to all. We can see the bookmark column is now populated and after I save these files, that'll be a quick easy way for me to access these files through the Homatro demo bookmark. I'll go ahead and save these up. After the save is complete, we can see more information in our 3D Experience task pane on the right, including the lock status and revision information. We can also see that the status column has updated for all of the files. Uh, when we hover over these uh, icons with the green check mark, it says the file has not been modified since the last save into 3D Experience, which lets us know that we uh, are looking at the most recent save and that our save was successful.